So I am outside to do this as I need a well ventilated area um, because I'm using spray paint and it's not great for you so I want it outside so I've got well ventilated area now it says it's touchable in five to ten minutes but it's 25 to 35 minutes to dry so I'm gonna leave it outside I got this spray paint off my sister um, I love everything cheap and free but you can get them from good hardware stores I got these two bowls here uh, these are from Asda they were 50p each make sure you take all the labels off um, you can get bigger ones at Wilkinson's I'm sure bigger Asda's do them but it was only in a small one places like that and then that's how it's gonna look when it's finished so I'm gonna spray paint them now sure you shake the can I've got um, paper down so that I don't cover everything in spray paint which is why I've got all that there and as you can see that is coming out pretty good um, make sure you've got old clothes on or keep it away from your clothes is probably better I think they're coming out really cool and it's my son's favorite color so he's gonna love it and then turn those round Make sure it's all covered. I don't want any holes in it, gaps. Now that's all painted and done. So I'm going to leave it to dry. And now to fill it up. So I have lots of different things here. I've got this. Marvel blind bag from toysforapound.com and then I have Njago movie Lego it was on sale at £1.50 in Sainsbury's not sure why it's on sale being that um, movie wasn't even out yet when I bought it these are the Ushis DC Comics they were £1.37 in the Sainsbury's sale Got the Zomblins. I like these. These are really cool because they're obviously uh, blind bags, but they're like 50 pence. And my boy is into zombies. Um, then I've got Avengers Mashems. These are on sale in same Sainsbury's, 175. I've got a Troll. These were 65 pence in Asda. Um, I've got a Zomblind truck so this is pretty cool I got this in Sainsbury's reduced from £2.50 to £1.25 I'm going to take that off because I don't want him to know how much I pay for it so in it goes and then I got this bouncing putty pick that up from the pound shop you can get some blind bags in there as well um, Play-Doh with a mould, 50p from B&M, so it's filling up nicely, then I've got this, drop something now, Spyro toy from the Poundland, because he likes things that spin. Batman Lego from Tesco, I think it's on sale for about 150, 3 quid, something like that. Just pop that in. And then I have some, I have these sick bricks. 
to go in as well. If they fit, push that in. And then I have this rotten pack here. Now this is from toysforapound.com as well. And it comes with 12 trashies inside. And I'm gonna open it up so I can fit them all in. one that is my egg full up so that's all full and then we are gonna glue the lid on do is you get your empty bowl and you get a hot glue gun and as fast as you can because otherwise it will just start drying round before you've got it on your other one glue around the whole bowl don't touch the glue it will be hot it comes out of a hot glue gun so just keep doing that round as fast as you can Round the whole bowl. And take the bowl and the one filled with all your stuff and put it over the top. Try not to catch all your treats with the glue and push it down into place. So, it's now pushed on. I'm going to leave it to cool down a little bit. Then I'm going to get a ribbon and tie it round the middle bit. it up into a bow and then obviously I'm going to adjust it around the rim I may glue that down so you don't see the top of the bow uh, let's make my ribbon look pretty first. I literally got the ribbon off a box of old chocolate. Not old chocolates, but a box of chocolates. <laughs> old chocolates. <laughs> um, I'm just adjusting the bow so it looks nicer. And I'm going to glue it down a bit, I think, to cover that up. Get your glue gun in the that bits the other side ow mind your fingers and then push it down the good thing about sorry glue guns is that I can pick off some of the 
bits it didn't go so well. So then just go round the rest of the egg and adjust your ribbon. Pull that down. That's it. And then I'm going to stick some more glue in there. So that I can push the ribbon down a bit just to cover that up. Mind your fingers, obviously, again, the glue is hot. And then take off the stringy bits of glue. Got my other bit of ribbon here. Lean it up a bit. The bow done, that's added. Ta -da! Here is my finished egg bowl. Bowl made with egg, bowl made with egg, egg made with bowls, and that's it there. So it looks pretty cute. I mean, you don't have to add the bow, but I much prefer it with the bow. and. In total, that has cost me 18, 17, 18 pounds, including all the content. So the egg on its own only cost me one pound. So the egg in total cost me a pound. So 50 pence each for the bowls. I mean, if you get a bigger, bigger bowls, it's 75p each. And including all the contents was 17 to 18 pounds. That is definitely a bargain. You can buy the eggs on their own from 10 to 15 pounds. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our website, Healthier Wealthier Homes. And we're also on Facebook and that's Healthier Wealthier Home. Thanks for watching.